Well, I think we're live, so we're able to um, begin. Um, welcome, everyone, and thank you for being here for the baptism of Scarlet Rose. It's so exciting that we can do this. If you're joining us through our YouTube live stream, welcome. It's good that you're able to be here as well. Um, thank you to Justin, who's helping us behind the camera today. And that it's, it's really special that despite all that's going on, that we can be here together. And that we are together with uh, other people as well via YouTube. It's a new way of doing things. And Scarlett, you're the first live stream baptism at Grace during COVID. Um, so it's really exciting. I'll share some scripture with us as we begin. So I'm reading from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, verses 9 to 11. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptized by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven, you are my son, the beloved, with you I am well pleased. And this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, little Scarlet, you have had a very interesting first five months of life, <laughs> as your family have had also. Um, born in 2020, I'm sure everyone will be telling Scarlet stories about her first year for a very long time. The year when church went online, and she technically was in Grace worship videos before being born, <laughs> um, which she'll be able to watch, and Xander hung out in the family room still an only child as those were recorded the year that she hung out in our church parking lot pretty much like right after being born after you were here with her and she was helping us hand out sunday school supplies to everybody in the community the year her baptism was live streamed which is wonderful for so many reasons but especially wonderful today considering grandma can't be here so she can experience it that way and it's special considering that the Grace Church family who have been praying for her and so excited for her arrival can take part in the baptismal vows that we take as a church. COVID has changed so much, but it's so wonderful that we can be here to celebrate in this way. And over the past couple of weeks, as I was getting ready for today and as we were getting ready, I heard lots of stories from people at Grace who were excited for Scarlett's baptism because they remember Heather Rose as a child and remember watching her and Mariko growing up here. Everyone was a part of the same faith family and that was why it was so exciting. Scarlett is being baptized into that family and that's what we're celebrating today. In the reading that we read, when Jesus was baptized, a voice came from heaven and said, you are my son whom I love. Baptism, is about identity. It teaches us who we are, God's beloved children. And we all belong to God's family, and today is that tangible sign that Scarlet is a beloved child of God and belongs to God's family, and that Scarlet and Xander both are loved more than any of us can imagine. And it's truly holy work that happens in baptism, because this relationship that we have with God, there's nothing that we can ever do or that can ever happen that will change it. God loves us so deeply and completely that God will never let us go. And this fact never changes. Even though this day may feel different from Xander's baptism, which doesn't feel like it was that long ago, even though Scarlet has entered God's world at a time when there might be extra things weighing heavily on our lives, we're God's beloved children and nothing can keep us from celebrating and sharing this today. Baptism is a gift from God. Through baptism, we become a part of the covenant community, the church. In baptism, God claims us, calls us by name, and puts a sign on us that we belong to God. By water and the Holy Spirit, we are made members of the church and are joined to Christ's ministry of love, peace, and justice. Obeying the words of Jesus and confident in his promises, we baptize those whom Christ has called. Friends, let us also remember and rejoice in our own baptism. On behalf of the session, 
I present Scarlet Rose Larkin for, to receive the sacrament of baptism. So Heather Rose and Michael and Xander and Scarlett, you can come up here. Heather Rose and Michael, do you desire that your child be baptized? If so, say we do. We do. Trusting in the gracious mercy of God, who has been faithful to us in all generations, do you turn away from sin, renounce all evil powers in the world which rebel against God or oppose God's rule and justice in the world? We do. We do. Do you renounce the ways of sin which separate you from the love of God? And do you turn to Jesus Christ as your favor and Lord, trusting in his grace and love? We do. Do you desire independence on the Holy Spirit to mature as Christians in the church, to seek the guidance of Christ as you listen to God's word, to celebrate Christ's death and life in the sacraments he provides, and to engage in his mission in the world? We do. And do you promise to raise Scarlet in the love and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ within your home, and in the fellowship of the church. We do. And I'll invite those who, family and friends who are here to stand. And if you are from the Grace community and participating on our YouTube live stream, I invite you to take these vows as well. The sacrament of baptism lays solemn obligation upon all members of Christ church. In baptism, we all take vows. We enter a covenant with God, promising to support and nurture the children in our midst until they can make their own promises of Christian faith. If you are willing to make such a promise, please answer, we do. Do you, as members of the Church of Jesus Christ, promise to guide and nurture Scarlet by word and deed, with love and in prayer, encouraging her to follow the way of Christ and to be a faithful member of the Church? Good. And now we'll profess our faith together using the Apostles' Creed, and there are words for that next to your seat, and I have words on the table for us here. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended to heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated as we pray together. give you thanks, gracious God, for the gift of your spirit and the sign of water. In the beginning, your spirit moved over the water and gave order and life to your planet Earth. By the waters of the flood, you cleansed the Earth and made a new beginning with the sign of the rainbow. In the time of Moses, you led your people out of slavery through the waters and gave them land and a covenant. In the water of Jordan, Jesus was baptized and anointed by your Holy Spirit. Loving God, by the power of your Holy Spirit, by the sign of water you cleanse from sin through the death of Jesus Christ, those who receive this sacrament. You raise them to new life through his resurrection and you graft them into his body, the church. We pray for Heather, Rose, and Michael that you would guide them and bless them as they seek to be faithful and loving parents. Lord Jesus Christ, you came to us as a baby we pray for all children in our midst, that they continue to grow in faith. 
Help us as a congregation to fulfill the vows that we have taken. Pour out your spirit on Scarlet, that she may be given the power to do your will, and continue forever in the risen life of Christ. Amen. So I'll have Scarlet and family come over. Um, this is our COVID-friendly way of baptism today. So Scarlet Rose, child of the covenant, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. May the blessing of God the Father Almighty, Son, and Holy Spirit rest on you and dwell in your heart forever. Scarlet is now received by Christ's appointment into his church. She is engaged to confess Christ crucified and risen, and to be Christ's faithful servant for the rest of her life. See what love God has for us, that we should be called the children of God, for so we are. And so because we're not able to sing together, um, we always sing the blessing when we do baptisms here, and so mom and auntie are going to sing the blessing on Scarlet today. And if you guys you can sit back down to the floor. On behalf of the congregation who loves you so much, we present you with a quilt made by the Quilters of Grace, a certificate of baptism, and a Bible that she can read Scarlet until she can read it for herself. So feel free um, afterwards to remain and take some socially distanced family photos if you would like. Um, but thank you everyone for being here, for following all our protocols to keep this a loving and safe baptism. We're so excited for Scarlet Rose. And so bless you all, and remember that the baptism you witnessed today is a tangible sign of the fact that we are God's beloved children. And as you leave this place, go with the peace of Christ, the community of the Spirit, knowing that you are always loved by God. Amen.